Hi everyone, I'm Dr Lynn Graham Ray from South West London ICB. Welcome to today's Ask About Asthma video. So it's a bit smudgy and funny and it feels like you've got prickly plants in your high tummy bit. Then you breathe and your breath gets heavy and tight like a wheezy balloon. This was the first answer I got from a six year old when I asked, what is it like to have asthma? This was shortly followed by, it's scary like the same as a monster under your bed type of scary. Working with the boys for the child and undertaking co-production felt a bit the same to me, to be honest. However, over the course of the work, one important message from children was gained, which led to some new insights and thinking about their lived experiences. Collaborating with them and undertaking a range of activities led to them producing their own asks and wish lists to professionals. Some are more achievable than others, but when you undertake co-production, you really must give the children what they ask for. So here's a little bit of an insight into what happened. Picture a nurse, me, currently seconded to a transformation post. Some art materials, a lot of paper and goodwill, just asking six to 11 year olds, what is it like to have asthma? Expecting some feedback. Then you find yourself planting flowers, helping with wormeries. Not so much fun for me if you don't like worms and drawing teddy bears. Lots of fun and laughter, but also some time and space to really hear what children were saying. So what did I understand from this? Most of the children carried some level of stigma and shame about their asthma, thinking and feeling it was their fault and being ashamed when they had to ask their inhaler. When I explored this with them, some stemmed from the fact that their inhalers were taken and kept somewhere else, usually in a box, so they felt they had no control over their own asthma. They also felt they had no ownership over their device and it had to be asked for. Swimming was a particular concern as all the inhalers got put in a box with your name and it was just called out if you needed your inhaler. This felt embarrassing and raised their anxiety. They were also anxious for their peers who saw them having exacerbations. They worried their friends were worried and they might have bad dreams. They were also worried about car fumes and that their friends might also catch asthma. They worried a lot about global warming and we spent more time than I thought we maybe needed to talking about climate change. And David Attenborough, that's what led to the wormery. So thanks to David. Then the challenging work really started and it started with a conversation about a teddy bear. How could we, health professionals, help with some of the anxieties and worries children had? And the answer was a teddy bear. Please bring it as a mascot. Talk about how the teddy bear felt and when the teddy goes to school and feels wheezy, but it's okay, he has friends. This progresses to, can we have an asthma teddy to keep our inhalers in so we don't feel so different? Inhalers are ugly and even if you put stickers on them, it's still an inhaler and after a while the stickers look tatty and you don't really want stickers anymore. I asked if you would still want a teddy then, if you were eight and stood back as the answers came thick and fast. You're never too old for a teddy bear. It's an ageless thing and it's not embarrassing and it doesn't feel different. And if it was, you could say it was someone else's or you are looking after it. What it does do is let you hide your inhaler. So I accepted this position being slightly overwhelmed by their valid points. It also had to be gender neutral and a neutral color. All this was agreed and drawings were produced with a teddy bear with a space for inhaler. It should be used to talk about asthma and if anyone wants to help adults understand then a teddy can help break down some difficult things to talk about. So we tried this out with a teddy bear's picnic. I wasn't asked if I was the nurse who was there to talk about asthma. I was asked if this was my teddy, could it stay here, did it have a name on and seeing we had a full on engaging talk about asthma but not in a way that the children found doctory. Children found it easy. Some of the work still continues and the children's wishes the bear is being considered. Although the model they want now is perhaps not as achievable as we first thought. It has to include an air quality monitor in its nose, a mould detector in one eye, a secret compartment for sweets and the ability to do your reading homework and a secret spy cam because you never know when you might need one. Messages for health professionals always talk about asthma to children with asthma but talk to children about being a child first 
and if you have a teddy bear, all the better. So watch out for the next blog from Southwest Bear coming to Southwest London soon. You never know, they might even write their own blog. That brings today's video to a close. Thank you for listening and please do visit the Ask About Asthma webpage for more videos, podcasts and to view the full schedule for the week. Thank you and goodbye.